Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you are feeling lost or you're feeling overwhelmed right now, this video is definitely for you. This, or my, it is my intention that this video will provide you with some insight and clarity as to why you may be feeling lost or overwhelmed and how do we get out of that state so we feel aligned, so we feel focused, so we're clear on what we want, we feel confident to also create that. If you're feeling lost, you're feeling overwhelmed, it could be for a number of different reasons. The main reason is when you're lost or you're overwhelmed, you are not in alignment with your higher self. You've disconnected from yourself with the capital S. Yourself being your higher self, your soul, your oversoul, your spirit, the better part of you that's upstairs, out in the clouds, out in the cosmos right now, uh, controlling this little human body that we run around on planet Earth in. So you've disconnected from yourself. So when you feel disconnected from yourself, life feels overwhelming. It feels challenging. You feel lost. You don't know what you're supposed to be doing. You don't feel confident about what you're doing. And then if you are doing something, you don't know if it's the quote unquote right thing that you should be doing, right? This is when you know you disconnected from yourself because life kind of feels maybe even almost like a vic like you're a victim like oh i have no power over my reality like life is just happening to me all these things oh my god you know the world hates me the universe hates me blah 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 if you're in that vibration of victimhood you're definitely super disconnected from your higher self because what does it feel like when you're in alignment with your higher self with your vision you're feeling confident you're feeling good you're feeling joyful, you're feeling loving, you're feeling generous and kind to other people. So this is how you can tell. If you clicked on this video, you're probably in the latter part where you're feeling just lost and confused. So it's all to say that you, if you are in that mode, that state of being where you're overwhelmed, you don't know what to do, you're unclear on where you're going, what you're doing with your life, if what you're currently doing is working, you're on the right path, you're in a vibration where you are not and you're not walking hand in hand with your soul, your higher self, you're not in alignment. So I kind of repeated myself there, but anyways, when we, what happens is when we get disconnected from ourselves, from our higher self, it's usually because we have been bombarded with outside influences, whether it be our family, our friends, our coworkers, teachers, maybe mentors, social media, news, whatever. The outside world, everything outside of yourself has been bombarding you. Has, and therefore, because we've been bombarded by the outside influences and forces for so long, so consistently, now all of a sudden we're being run by societal programming because we disconnected from ourself, our inner world, our soul, what is important to us on the inside, what it truly matters to us on a one-to-one -one level with us and God, the universe, or a higher self, whatever. So in other words, you're letting the outside world affect your inner environment. And because you're letting the outside world affect your inner environment, you've lost the connection as to what's important with you because you're focusing on the outside rather than the inside and what's important to you. So there's many ways that we get back to that. And, they, and that could be only many, one of many reasons why you might be feeling lost. I'm just gonna kind of go through my notes here. I feel rusty for some reason, but it's not that I'm rusty. And so a side note of this is, this is obviously why I make these videos because whatever I'm experiencing, I spend a lot of time reflecting and searching for insight into my own situation, connecting with my higher self, my spirit team, my um, angels and spirit guides and getting answers and clarity. And when that clarity comes through, I always feel better. And you know, this is why I make these videos to share the messages. Because if I'm feeling this way, you're the exact same as me. It's why we're watching the video. I'm no different than you. A lot of what may be resonating with me into my current state and the answers I glean from the time I spend in quiet reflection, meditation, um, and solitude out in nature may be the same for you and applicable to you. So when we allow outside influences to bombard us or our external environment to overwhelm us without clearing the energy, grounding ourselves uh, through practices like meditation or yoga, going out in nature, exercising, we become lost, we become unmotivated, we become unclear or disconnected from ourselves. 
So you may be feeling lost or overwhelmed because you've had so much outside external stimuli bombarding you that you no longer have are in connection with your inner voice. What's important to you, what you should be doing, where you're going, all these things. So what's the key? What's How do we fix this? Well, if you're someone who has been overwhelmed, this is especially true if you're overwhelmed, but overwhelmed, lost, disconnected, it's because all of the things, all of the people outside, you've only been listening to them. You haven't been going into your own mind, your own inner environment for the expert advice that you've been seeking. You've been looking outside of yourself for all the answers. And because you've been looking outside of yourself for all the answers, you're getting everybody else's answers to your own question. But if you're the one asking the question, well, who's the one that has the best answer to your own question? you are the one that has the best answer to your own question. It's your question, you have the answer, you've just been allowing yourself to be influenced too much by the external world, so the answers aren't clear, so you feel lost, you feel overwhelmed. So the external world has overpowered the connection we have with our inner selves. So what was clear and confident, what you felt clear about, what you felt confident about, this relationship, this job, this business, uh, this, workout plan, this, uh, you know, thinking about moving or whatever living situation that you were so clear and confident about. Now you become unclear. Now you're unsure. Now you're foggy. Now you're doubtful. Again, this is because you've been, you've overwhelmed your system with outside answers. You haven't been going inward to consult yourself for that expert advice that you're seeking. So go inward. That's the key. Get back to what's important to you. So how do we reconnect with our inner selves? We start small and we allow patience and grace for ourselves. If we feel lost, like we've, you're not off the path, you didn't miss anything, this is an opportunity to reinforce what's important to you and how to get back to that place where you're centered, you're confident, you're clear on what it is you want and who you are, how you go about this world, how you walk in each environment, how you carry yourself. This is a reminder to reconnect with your inner self what's important to you now so how do we do that start small we do the little things that make us feel good you go and take yourself out for a nice coffee and splurge on it you go and you just um, sit outside by the pool at your apartment complex and chill out and read a book you take a nice long walk uh, for on a mountain trail with your dog you make yourself one of your favorite meals, you cook it, you don't go out to eat, or maybe you do, maybe that's what you want. Maybe you go splurge on your uh, dinner or breakfast or meal or whatever. Do something nice for yourself. Do the small things that make you happy. As you do the small things that make you happy, that bring you joy, little things. No, they don't have to be expensive, extravagant, take a lot of time, any of that. Little things. Go sit out in the sun on your porch and read a book for 20 minutes. Just chill out, relax, do a little thing that makes you happy. When you do these little things that make you happy, you are reconnecting with yourself because you're reconnecting with your inner environment, the things that make you happy on the inside. This is the best place to start for anything, guys. Focus on yourself and what's important to you and do the little things that make you happy. As you continue to do the little things that make you happy, the bigger vision for your life, what you want, decisions about what you want, they'll become clear because now all of a sudden you're in the vibration of doing what's best for you by focusing on these little things that bring you happiness. So when you do this, now all of a sudden you're carrying this vibration of I'm going to put myself first and what makes me happy and what I want for my life. These bigger decisions operating from that place by, by having done these little things that make you happy, the bigger decisions become crystal clear. I say, well, I want to feel this way. I'm doing these little things for myself. I all of a sudden feel really good. Now you're connected with your higher self. You're connected with what's important to you. You're connected with your soul again. And then you ask yourself the bigger questions. Well, what's next for me? What should I be doing? Is this the right decision for me? Is this the right relationship? Is this the right uh, job environment? Is this the business idea I really want to pursue? Do the little things you'll feel better about yourself. Now you're focused and you're connected with your inner wisdom, your inner guidance, your higher self. And now you'll become more clear. You won't feel overwhelmed. You won't feel lost because now you know what you want because you've been giving yourself you want in the small ways. Let me know if that makes sense to you. Does that make sense? Does that resonate with you? If it does, uh, leave a like on the video, comment. Let me know, guys. Like, I want to interact with you. I want to hear what you have to say if this stuff is clicking with you, if I'm way off what your situation is. Uh, it's important that we connect with each other because it's an energetic exchange. Hopefully you're gaining value and insight by watching my videos. And then by being able to interact with you, it 
gives me feedback as to am I connecting, are my videos connecting in the right way with the right people in which I want to connect with them. And then it, it goes back, right? It's a cycle. So, you know, we're a team. We work together. We're, in, we're building a little community here, and that's the goal here. So eventually I will have, um, you know, now again, yay, big victory for me. I got my place and I'm settling in. I'll be able to start putting more time and effort and energy. I'm recharging my batteries right now uh, to do more for us. So, you know, some whatever, some like free eBooks and guides that I think will help you guys, a little community, Discord channel, whatever it is, so we can all start to come together. So all the people in your life that don't support you, it doesn't matter, you have a place to go with people who are also on this journey, the spiritual journey and manifesting a better life for themselves, you'll be able to connect with like minds. We can support each other in a positive environment. That's the goal. So connect with yourself, do the little things that make you happy. You'll become, to, you'll become more clear on what you want and you'll be able to cut out a lot of the crap that doesn't matter because now you're clear and connected with yourself so you won't feel overwhelmed because you cut out all the outside crap that really didn't matter. And it's very clear to you what doesn't matter because you've been doing the things that are good for you that make you feel better and now you feel happy you can make decisions you're coming from a clear grounded place another great way is we always talk about practices so i'm sitting in the parking lot of the gym about to go in and get my workout after this video do these little things for yourself that make you feel good work out did you meditate did you make yourself a good breakfast with you know fresh fruit and some eggs or whatever it is or just a bagel or avocado toast or whatever it is you like to eat coffee or tea so do these little things meditate did you work out? Did you go outside? Go somewhere, do something that makes you happy, that helps you reconnect with yourself. The little things. Don't put pressure on yourself to force anything. Don't put a time frame on any of this because when you do that, you're trying to control, you're trying to force things. This is your ego coming through. Give yourself grace, give yourself time. There's no, you're on your own time. You're on your own clock. Your life is your own. And it looks like how it's supposed to look like because it's your life, regardless of what anyone thinks, where you should be, what you should have, what you should be doing, what your relationships should look like. All that's BS. They're just projecting and they're like basically trying to put their limitations or their lifestyle or belief system onto you, but they're not you. So listen to you. That's what this video is about. It's your inner guidance. If you feel lost or overwhelmed, you disconnected with yourself. So we're talking about ways to connect with yourself and what's important with you. Because when you're in that place of centered calmness and alignment and clarity, you're operating as your best self and anything you do, anything you, you interact with or what you want to create, you're coming from pure alignment with your higher self. This is the best place to be. And if you feel lost and overwhelmed, again, it's because you're not there. So we're talking about ways to get back there. So meditate, write, work out, go on a little nature walk, do something, go somewhere that makes you happy, the little things. Don't put pressure on yourself. There's no rush to any of this crap. If you need a week to just chill out, that's cool. If you need a month, great. If you need a couple months, great. If you need a couple years, great. I um, uh, There's a gentleman I work with, real cool guy. I don't know if it was, I think it was sometime this, what month is it? Gosh, what are we? We're July. I think it was earlier this year. He lost his wife to cancer. And last night we were working together and he was talking about like dating and women and stuff and um, you know, he's like, yeah, man, you know, oh my God, it's been 17 years. I don't even, I don't even know how to date or what I would do anymore. And I told him, I was like, look, man, I was like, you went through a major trauma and tragedy. The first thing to do is just grieve and give yourself time. You don't need, we need to worry about dating or women. There's no pressure on anything. I'm like, what's most important now is you just do what's best for you in order to heal and get into a good place. I was like, you'll know when the right time is to start dating or like when you're ready to start seeing women again. I'm like, you don't need to put any time frame or anything on this so it's the same thing with you for whatever your situation there's no rush to any of this stuff that's the biggest delusion that's where society wants to brainwash you it's like putting pressure it's consumerism it's like you got to buy this now you got to do this now because you got to look good and sound and look like everyone else and got to own all the same stuff and dress the same way or you're a bad person or you're a loser dude that's like the most base it's so funny when you get on the other side of that like that basic brainwashing stuff. So we just have so much compassion for people who are still there. That's why we're here as light workers to wake them up and go like, dude, you don't gotta do it like that. And you're not a loser because you don't have a million dollars or make $150,000 a year and own a house and have all the kids and all the family in it. Like, bro, if that's not what you want, or sis, that's not what you want, dude, who cares? Don't let people 
control your life, live how you want. It could look drastically different than anyone else you know. It probably is, and you'll be happier than anyone you know, and you probably will be. So, again, it doesn't matter. You're focused on yourself. This life is yours and yours alone to live. So don't put pressure on yourself. You're not going to miss anything. Anything that is meant for you, it will come to you in divine timing. You don't have to worry about this stuff. No pressure. Let go. We don't need to control anything, guys. One foot in front of the other. That's what you have to do right now. So if you're even in a place of like depression or sadness or whatever, you just put one foot in front of the other. What is it you want to do today? Just focus on one day. Or if that's too much, focus on the half a day. If that's too much, what do you want to do in the next couple hours? If that's too much, don't even think of that. Just think about right now in this moment. What would make you happy right now? So there's no time to any of this stuff. Just put one foot in front of the other. Maybe you're just sitting around and chilling today. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't let anybody shame you for the decisions you make in your life. That's just their own insecurity being projected on you and their need to feel superior to you. And that's why they put you down. That's all it ever is. So don't think stuff personally. There's a whole, what the other reason you might feel lost or overwhelmed, this came to me as I was writing towards the end. There's a whole new world and reality opening up for you. You're in a place of the pure unknown and discomfort is a good thing. So this was my case. And so I started writing about this other stuff about why you may feel lost or overwhelmed and that rings true. But I realized for me, I just had this huge victory where like it's been six months in the making. I moved into my new spot. I'm like really comfortable. I'm like starting to settle in and unpack. And I was like, dang, I feel way lost and ungrounded and confused right now. I've been, you know, like, okay, come out here, get a good job, did that. Okay, let's get into our own space, did that. Build this small business, okay, or a couple small businesses. Okay, this is happening. Okay, am I ready to date? What's my social life? Look out here, am I ready to make friends? And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, dude, too much. Chill out right now. You just moved into your place. And I was feeling a little like, okay, is YouTube my path? Is this part of my path, dude? And I started to question all these things. And I was like, bro, like, you're going, you you, you kick back right now. Pierce, kick back, man relax. You're not even a week into your new place. Like chill out, bro. Chill out. You don't need to get it all decorated and like swagged out overnight. Like chill out, man. Relax. So what I realized for me is I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed or a little bit disconnected or questioning myself about my vision remains the same, but I was even questioning that. But, um, for me, it was because what's happened right now, and this could be for you and this one sharing it, you're in a whole new world right now you're moving into your, or you already are on your greatest timeline and your life is evolving in ways better than you can ever imagine. Everything is unknown right now because you're a new person and you're moving into an entirely new life, which you've worked so hard to begin building. So you will be at different stages. You could be ahead in your vision or behind in your vision comparatively to other people. It doesn't matter. You're on your own path on your own time. But you could be feeling a little lost or overwhelmed right now because again, you're opening up into a whole new world, a whole new reality. You're in the unknown right now, but this is a beautiful place to be. We call it the gap. You're in the gap, you're in the void. This is when all the unexpected miracles and blessings. You could walk in and meet the love of your life to a coffee shop right now. You could meet someone uh, at the grocery store and get the opportunity of a lifetime for the, um, you know, a job you've wanted for a long time or whatever, you don't know. You're in a place of unknown. So this is why you feel uncomfortable, unsettled, maybe a little overwhelmed or disconnected because everything is brand new. You're in a whole new reality. You're in your highest timeline. That's what's happening. So you feel lost and confused because you've upgraded. You've upgraded in a big way. There's a new you coming into the world. You are a new version of you and the old you is completely gone. So of course you're gonna feel unsettled and unfamiliar because you're in the unknown because the old you and the old life is gone. You're officially in this timeline. You're moving out of that transitory period and things are starting to solidify. So now it's a little uncomfortable because you're a new person and your world is about to change in a lot of ways for the better. It's a good thing. So these could also be uh, how you feel overwhelmed. So if you are or confused, it's the same thing. Do little things that make you feel good you get in alignment to what's important with you and get in the habit of making your uh, making you feel good and making decisions based on what feels good for you. Take time to ground into the new reality that you created for yourself. So this is you, you're moving into a new reality. It's a beautiful thing. So give yourself time. Give yourself a little bit of time here. Celebrate the win, the wins, the small wins. Keep focusing on the positives in your life, you're attracting so many more blessings you don't even know. 
That's why you're confused. That's why you're overwhelmed. You've upgraded. You're in a whole new world. You're in a whole new dimension. You're in a whole new reality because you're a whole new person. And it's only going to get better and better and better. So get used to this process because this is what will be your new process of being uncomfortable because it's new. It's better. Crap. Okay. Now you've upgraded. Now I feel uncomfortable and un uh, uncomfortable because I'm in the unknown again. You've upgraded again. This is your new reality. Life's going to get better and better for you going forward from this point. How do I know? Because I know that that's what's happening for me. And via the law of resonance, the law of vibration, this is why you're watching the video. So this is the same thing that's happening for you. You're in alignment with your highest path, your greatest timeline. This is what's happening. So the quote I leave you with today is from our friend Deepak Chopra. The universe has a plan for you even if you can't see it yet. So let go and trust things are happening and it's a beautiful thing so love you guys so much that's the video i got for you today please let me know in the comments if this resonates with you if you've been feeling overwhelmed if what i'm saying resonates with you as far as how to get back into alignment with yourself is this helpful let me know what's going on guys i would love to interact more uh don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if uh, you like this content this is pretty much what we're about we're about kind of bridging the spiritual and the practical talking about some of the more metaphysical and esoteric concept uh, concepts but also making it uh, more practical and how it relates into our day-to-day -day. Uh, so right now it seems like they're practical but they are going to get a lot more i'm going to get weird spiritually so anyways love you guys i'll see you soon on the next one peace